I'm Danielle. And I'm Mia. And welcome, welcome to, to this, this week's Royal Roundup. Hi guys, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Today I wanted to talk about some pet, a pet food supply box that I started about a month ago, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, basically what it is, it is for people who kind of like can't really feed their pets, they can't pay to feed their pets because of COVID-19 or because of other things. And they can come and drop some, drop some stuff off or they can take some stuff. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So this is what it looks like. Um, we have one sign right here. And then we have one sign right here. And we got some entire little rocks. And in here is all the food and toys and stuff like that. I gotta organize it actually, but um so over here we have cat stuff, over here we have dog stuff, and we also have some more stuff in the garage that we'll put in more stuff um, in a little bit. But basically how I promoted this is I put it on neck an app called next door and i also put it on my instagram and then i actually got in a newspaper article so that's really cool just to let you guys know we also have some other stuff that's not dog or cat stuff we have like bird stuff and i think we have some rodent stuff too so that's cool. a really fun fact is that a local author who actually came to our school uh abby cooper she asked me what i was doing on instagram and i told her all about the pet food supply box and she even donated some things this is one of my dogs hannah and she was actually on uh the newspaper article with me she was in a picture hey everybody it's dave and kathy we miss you guys we wanted to say hello oh and buddy is also here and he's been getting kind of bored not having anyone to visit so we've been working on a new trick that we'd like to show you it's called the shell game and he's able to find his treat we put a treat in one of the cups and move him around and he's able to find the treat Here, bud. Okay, come over here. Come on. Move him around. Find the tree. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. There you go. Good boy. Next, we have a book review from Miss Leggett. Guts is one of Raina Telgemeier's latest books, a companion to books like Smile and Sisters. It talks about Raina and her struggles with worries. She worries about friends. She worries about school. She worries about puke. This book is one of the best depictions of how anxiety feels that I've come across in young adult literature. In these times when we're all feeling stressed, I think we all can connect with how Raina is feeling. Guts by Raina Telgemeier. It's time for the pride drawing. Caleb Cook, grade seven. Debbie Herman, positive, excellent. Naima Muhammad, grade nine. Nurse Anne, for being determined. Victoria Martinez, grade seven. Markinson, determined. Sara Muhammad, by Lee, for being determined, grade seven. It's time for a North Junior High summer reading. Why do we have to read in the summer, you ask? A world-recognized reading researcher and professor at the University of Tennessee. Richard Allington recently released research that showed that students need to read 2.5 hours each day to just stay at their current reading level. What does that mean for you? If you don't read over the summer, your reading ability actually declines. So we have put together a list for you of awesome books. Take a look. Upcoming 7th graders will read 4 books this summer. And upcoming 8th graders will read 5 books this summer. Upcoming 9th graders will read 6 books this summer. Better get reading soon. Each grade level has an assignment, so be on the lookout. This year, English teachers will post assignments on their landing page the last week of May. Assignments can also be found on the NJH website. Assignments are due the first week of school. Well, that's it for this week's Royal Roundup. Thanks for watching.